Hello everybody and today we are going to be reviewing one of my favourite toys or figures I have. So, basically it's a Star Wars. Uh, I love Star Wars but my favourite, two top favourite things is Boba Fett and the Rancor. So today we'll be reviewing my Rancor toy or figure. Here he is. He's massive so many different levels so if you put him here it's just, just his head and his arm so in his mouth he's got a bone which is stuck in there now but he's he's if you see he's got a broken down droid in B1 battle droid to be pacific in his in his claws and he is posable so he can move his arms and all that cool stuff so there's a way to stand him up i think it's that and that so that uh no <laughs> sorry it's kind of awkward no that's this And he's super, super tall. Like he is ex so tall. But he is in a limited edition rank. Luckily I can get one of these off eBay. He's second hand so sadly he doesn't come with a saddle. So I'm going to be making a DIY saddle for him. And it will work because I've planned it all out. Basically, he has a rider on top, and he has bat this blue is battle armor. It's in Battlefront Two, not the new one that came what came out uh, in the two thousands that we're talking like nineteens, like like the nineties or something like that, or maybe early two thousands. Not the new one. Uh, he's all right. He's got posable feet, posable legs, posable arms. He has a joint in his arm around. Here, so you, he can move it. 360. He has, so you can he can lift his arms up. Uh, he does not have pausable fingers, unlike the one in Jabba. Uh, really detailed. I got to give it to them. But he's the 30th anniversary Rancor. Mine was second handed, but he's amazing. He is by far my favorite figure I have. He's the biggest. This is him. This is the droid little broken droid because i decided to make it like a battlefield in another video so this is him compared to him so if you look here he can fit inside the jaw of him so i close that up like like that he has the droid in in his leg in his in his clutch in his clutch. Or you could pause it in a different way, and like that, to make it look like he's bitten by the head because that's normally how they bite. He can also twist his neck. I haven't bothered twisting his neck, so it's kind of stiff. They have ears. They do have ears. This little thing here is its ear. Uh, the saddle idea he should be all right, but he's he's extremely big. Uh, Rancor is literally my favorite aliens. I, I, I oh, I'd love to have a Rancor. They're just so cool and strong, like the pit bulls of Star Wars. Actually, they're really misunderstood. I didn't really like the one in Jabba's palace, but the one in Book of Boba was amazing, and it's only a puppy as well. So, you know. Oh, and. Uh, There'll be more videos on the ferrets, but right now, just this guy, he's amazing. And if you see these two nose bits here, so these two little holes, that's in the saddle. It's actually where two hooks would go inside to keep it on him. So that's why that's there. But sadly, once again, it does not come with a saddle, but it was lucky to even find one of these rancors because the quite rare now uh they're really really yeah so they're rare they're expensive luckily i could find one just in time uh so basically that's all everybody so see you in the next episode goodbye boo boo